Hi everyone, in this task you will be solving quadratic equations. The task description says write a program that takes uh, user inputs uh, for three constants of a quadratic equation, solve, uh, solves the equation and displays the solutions. So pause the video, in three seconds you're going to see my solution. All right, how was the task? I'm sure you did great. So we need to take three sides, uh, sorry, three constants uh, from the user. And um, basically, whenever we're working with quadratic equations, we need to have multiple things. So the uh, quadratic equation, we need to have the discriminant. We need to have the um, constants A, B, and C. And then we have... Um, uh, through a formula, we are going to uh, we are going to show the two solutions for the quadratic equation. So I'm going to say a. So this is going to be the constant constant a, and I'm going to say input. Uh, I'm just going to provide a, and now I'm going to check because if the a uh, the value of a is equal to zero or less than zero, then this formula is not going to work for that. So I'm going to say if a is less than or equal to zero, then I just want to print to the user the value of the constant a, let's just say a, uh, cannot be zero or less. Perfect. And in the else clause, in the else statement, we are going to provide this, uh, the rest of the uh, program. So we are going to grab uh, B from the user as well. So I'm just going to copy that just to save you some time. And I'm going to change this to B. Let's, let's bring this down and change both of them to C. So I'm just going to say C. Perfect. Now, uh, we need to find, it, find the discriminant. So I'm going to say discriminant. And the discriminant is b squared minus 4 times a times c. So what is b squared? b uh, raised to the power of 2 minus 4 times a times c. So this is going to be our discriminant. Now, to be able to find the solution, I'm going to be importing the math module. So I'm going to say import math. We have a math module and then we have a c math for complex mathematical numbers. Uh, we, I'm going to show you how we can work with both of them. So I'm going to say solution underscore one. And the solution is going to be minus b uh, minus plus um, the square root of the discriminant. So in the first solution, we are going to say minus b minus the square root. And the second solution, we're going to say minus b plus the solution. So minus b, um, let's, let's provide this inside parentheses, minus b minus, uh, let's grab the math module. So we, are, we need to take the square root of the discriminant. So on the math module, we have sqrt method, which is going to return the square root of an x, which is anything that we pass inside of it. So inside here, I'm going to pass in discriminant. Uh, let's pass in discriminant, and then we divide this by 2 times a. So this is the quadratic formula. If you're not sure, just go ahead and Google it. And in the next one, we just say minus b plus math. And I'm going to change this to 2. Perfect. And then I'm going to say print the, uh, let's grab our formatted strings. The solutions are, uh, oops, let's say solution solution underscore one let me copy this and and solution two beautiful so we have this formula let's save this let's run it using the terminal so it is going to ask for a if i pass in zero it is just going to terminate the value of the constant a cannot be zero or less so if i pass in minus one uh, oops, I didn't pass in minus one. So we are just going to solve it. So two and three. And uh, you can see that we have an error. It says solution one uh, value error math domain error. And I think this is because we have ended up 
we basically ended up with some complex numbers. So I'm just going to convert this math. Let's grab all the occurrences of it, and I'm going to convert it to C math. Now let's run the program again, and I'm going to pass in the same ones. And now you can see that the reason that we got those was because we ended up with imaginary or complex numbers. So we have minus one, minus one point. This J is a representation of a complex number. I think they're called imaginary numbers as well. So we have this complex. The reason that we got it, we got that error was because we didn't handle complex numbers. So the C math is going to provide us mathematical functions for complex numbers. We can use it for regular numbers as well. So if I basically say clear and let's run the program, let's say one and I don't know, like five and seven, this is going to give me a complex number again. Um, I'm not really sure which number I should provide to be able to get something that is not complex. Hmm. So let me try this again. So let's clear this. Let's say one, five, and not seven, but six. So there we go. You can see that this C math module, it can handle non-complex numbers. And you can see that it basically says zero. So whenever you may, you are sure that you're not going to end up with it, with uh, you're not going to end up with a complex number, you can basically use the standard math uh, module. And let's grab these and let's say math. And then this is going to give you a more kind of um, logical solution. So readable solution it says minus three and minus two. They are the solutions to this uh, equation. That's it for this task. See you in the next one.